I totally don't get it. You and I both studied together like crazy for that test, and I knew I was ready. I just couldn't concentrate at all in there. It was like I just forgot all the stuff I thought I knew. And I have the worst headache, too. Really? I thought I nailed that test. And I think we studied enough, don't you think? Sorry you've got a headache. Well, that was fun. Not. I thought I was going to fall asleep halfway through the test. I could barely keep my eyes open. The test wasn't hard or anything. I just had a really hard time concentrating on getting the answers. Weird. If Bell hadn't rung, I'm sure I'd still be there, asleep with my face smashed on the desk. Really? I was talking to Megan, and she says that she thinks she blew it, too. But I studied with her, and we quizzed each other a lot. So I know she was as prepared as I was. And I thought I did great. I don't get it. Well, let's hope I can actually stay awake in algebra. If you see me slumping over the desk, just pinch me or something, will you? Sure. Hmm. Three different students, all of whom studied hard for this morning's test. But each one had a very different experience. Strange. Maybe we could discover what was going on with Andrew, Megan, and Gabe prior to this morning's test. Come on, let's check it out. Andrew tried to make himself a good breakfast, but he discovered that there was no milk for his cereal, remember? So because he didn't have better options, he ate a toaster pastry filled with a lot of refined sugar and very few nutrients. That gave him a quick burst of energy right after he ate it, but about an hour or two later, right about the time he was taking the test this morning, he got really sleepy. His energy level rose really quickly after eating the pastry, but then fell just as quickly and made him tired. Since Drew's mom leaves for work early, he's usually on his own to make breakfast. So you might want to talk to her about stocking the kitchen up with some better breakfast choices. If Drew had eaten foods from three of the five food groups, his energy level would have stayed strong and steady all through the morning. He would not have gotten so tired during the test and had to struggle so hard to concentrate. So what kinds of balanced breakfasts could Drew have in the future? He could ask his mom to buy more milk so he could have cereal with milk and some fruit. Another good breakfast would be cheese, melted on toast, and orange juice, or even some leftover spaghetti with meat sauce. Each breakfast has a portion of food from three of the five food groups and should give him a steady stream of energy all morning. Megan left home this morning without having any breakfast, remember? Megan said she had trouble concentrating on the test and remembering important facts. Bet she didn't know that kids who eat breakfast actually are able to concentrate better, score higher on tests, and remember things better than kids who don't have breakfast. So even though she really did study hard for the test, she didn't have enough morning fuel to keep her brain charged during the test. Now, if Megan had eaten what her mom was offering, she would have had the perfect combinations of food to keep her body and brain energized all morning. Bagel from the Grains and Breads group, peanut butter filled with some protein and some healthy fat, fruit, and chocolate milk, a delicious source of calcium. There's a reason Gabriel knows he nailed that test. Although he studied for the test the same amount of time as Megan, he had an extra edge. He ate a balanced breakfast that helped him concentrate and focus on the test. Remember what he ate? He had one portion from three of the five food groups. A waffle, topped with yogurt, and strawberries. That combination of foods gave his body the steady release of energy he needed to get through the entire morning without being hungry and to stay alert and focused on the test. Way to go, Gabe. All right, all this talk about breakfast is making me hungry. Time for my breakfast favorites. <laughs>